we have Jessica McLeod from the Forensic Science team with us. Hello, Jessica. So, why did you choose the Forensic Science? Well, I would like to be a forensic scientist for more than so this would help me a lot to life it. So, is it like what you've been expected? Yeah, it has actually, yeah. Okay, what have you done with um, We've got a couple of forensic scientists sitting with us for the moment, and they just tell us what sort of work they do. And um, we're going to go on a couple of school trips. Um, over four teams are going to go to Crown Court, and on Wednesday, I'm doing, we're going to Phoenix Day to do like a little bit of a crime scene. And we're further going to a police station. So, do you think you will choose this by the way again in two years? I'd like to, yeah. Hi, we're here at Forensic Science today waiting for an update. Okay, so what have you been doing so far this week? Just looking yeah. at blood spatters and what direction and pollen and how that helps you solve crimes. Mm -hmm. Have you found out anything interesting today? Yeah, you can tell how fast blood's been spattered, what's been spattered, from what direction it is, from the way the shape of the blood spatters. What sort of case are you working on today? It seems quite interesting. <laughs> and we're not really working on the case, you just seem like happy for the rest of that from different parts. Do you enjoyed it this week? Yes. That's enough of it. The Spectre says here, what we can tell from that pattern is whether the person has been hit once or more than once. If you were being attacked by someone and let's say you happen to have a hammer in your hand. Strange situation, but let's just say, if you were being attacked by someone and you turned around and they had sort of just self-defense, you smashed them over the head, you attacked them back to try and stop them. But if you carried on hitting them, that would probably be too much. I mean, a policeman friend could probably tell the words it's true or not. But it would be more suggestive of someone not just defending themselves, but actually getting to the point where it may actually be murder for them is very, very important when they come to actually look at what's happened in a crime. So what you've got, and what we're going to give you, is um, some patterns. Now, that's, this is not the pattern that we've got, but this is what you're going to do. When you see a drop of blood that's got a shape like this, as you know, it means the blood has hit the wall at an angle. If all the blood comes from the same point, then all of these should cross at the same point. Roughly, you can see they're not perfect, but roughly speaking, they all cross at the same point. So that person, if, that, if you saw that blood pattern, that would suggest that person has only been hit once. Your job is to try and find out whether this person has been hit once or more than once. And if it's more, how many times? Okay? So you're going to do exactly the same thing. You need to do it really, really carefully, so don't rush it. But get yourself a ruler, get yourself a pencil. If you put them back, you can get them back to the back. 